Hi, this is Herman here. And this is Mark from Dragon Force. And you are watching Tattoo.com. Hey fuckers, it's Rockwell Anderson here at Gas Monkeys in Dallas, Texas with these two gentlemen. You, sir, are? Herman. Herman Lee. What do you play, Herman? I play the guitar. He plays the six string guitar. Mighty well, I might say. And you, sir, are? Uh, Mark from Dragon Force, the singer. The singer, yeah. the guy with the balls. Well, or without, if you hear those high notes. Up oh, to you. Well, <laughs> that's when he just has to squeeze the balls, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, since you are the tattoo gentleman, and Herman doesn't have any tattoos, at least any that he wants to show us, <laughs> we're going to talk to Herman first about the brand new album, which is? Um, reaching into Infinity, that's right. Reaching into Infinity, and you've got a new, well, that came out a couple months ago. Uh, that came out in July, right? We're in July. Yeah, so I get yeah, a couple months ago. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's hard to ask these questions to a band, especially because you guys are on tour. You just came from New Zealand and Australia, Japan, all that. It's hard to ask these guys when they're on the road anything about anything because they don't even know what city they're in most of the time. So, <laughs> but with that said, Herman, tell us about the new album. Why is it so cool? I've heard it myself, but tell the fans why this is different or the same as past Dragon Force albums. Okay, I guess, um, you know, Dragon Force new album is an evolution, a continuous evolution. So people might say on the internet, the people that don't know anything about the band, except they heard two songs, you go, oh, every song sounds the same. But actually, it's a, none of our songs do sound the same, and they're actually a continuous evolution for albums now. And the new album is even a more diverse, more different stuff. I mean, we've got like a, from a 11 minutes, you know, long epic song to, um, you are obviously your people's favorite Dragon Force, 200 BPM, fast, you know, catchy, uplifting, kind of like, you know, want to get your fist in the air kind of metal. So we've got a good mixture of um, everything. And of course, we, you know, we shred it on the guitar, all the instruments, you know, we go max out on it. One thing that remains the same, having listened to the album, is that it does shred and you continue to shred. this. Folks, for don't know, people are not really familiar with Dragon Force 1, shame on you if, you if you're not familiar with, but Herman here and his counterpart are pretty fucking good, just to let you know. And uh, if you like them, they're shredding in the past, uh, if you haven't checked out the new album, check it out because they do not disappoint. Um, any particular tracks um, that you want to talk about that you're proud of or that really you spent uh, was more of a challenge? Um, I mean, every song is a challenge because um, you don't want to repeat yourself playing the same stuff all the time. So, um, of course, I just mentioned the 11 minutes epic. That's a challenging song. I mean, there's all kind of dynamics things happening there from acoustic parts to, you know, brutal death metal, almost, you know, heavy stuff and, and the Dragon Force melodic vocals, everything. You know, Dragon Force, we, you know, we try to bring the best out of metal that we like, that we have, you know, inspired to listen to, you know, influence, you know, so we always have melodic vocals and, you know, cool melody and catchy melody. That's what we specialize in. But, you know, we're not so soft either. You know, we have really a lot of energy and the songs are fast and Edge of the World is bringing another dimension to the Dragon Force sound that I think fans hasn't, I sh haven't heard before. Excellent, sir. Now you're off the hook. Now I'm going to bug this tall gentleman who's with the balls how do you feel about singing those 11 minute songs um actually i really like singing the 11 minute song because um like herman said it changes quite a lot and in the middle there's a death metal section so i get to do a different style of vocals completely and um and yeah it's all fun it's all fun the longer the song better i, I like it kind of like uh, i'm an iron maiden fan from way back you know kind of like rhyme of the ancient mariner that's one of those long songs yeah. but at least they have like a two minute two or three minute break in there but it definitely is a challenge and these guys who wrote that particular song um that edge you're talking of the, world. the edge of the world fred, uh, fred the bass player i think was, okay. wrote that one yeah so did you say a good job fred or did you yeah, say yeah. Uh, did you say why the fuck do you make me sing for 11 minutes i would say good job we don't want to build his ego up too much so <laughs> yeah no 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 but i like the song so i did tell him that yeah and you are the tattoo representative of the band. Well, actually, let's, let's talk about what you got. Fred, I think Fred's a tattoo representative, but I have a few, so we can talk about it, yeah. 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 So tell us about what you have. Okay, let's start, let's start here. All right, so um, basically uh, this, this sleeve is um, some artwork by an English guy called Roger Dean, who did like all the artwork for the band Yes. Um, and this, is, this was actually used as the Green Slave cover 
uh, Greenslade, sorry, my bad. Greenslade cover for one of their albums um, back in the 70s and stuff. But the reason why I picked it was because basically I like things that you can appreciate objectively that don't have any meaning whatsoever. So it's like, I like that painting. So therefore, I'm not going to change my mind when I'm older. As opposed to, you know, maybe if you get something written on you or something, maybe it's easier to change your mind. So that was the, that was the rationale behind that one. What else do you have that you want to talk talk to us about? Uh, again, this is, it's the same artist on this arm, um, and it's basically a combination of three paintings. There's one, this uh, sorry, okay, so there's like this tree of life thing here, and uh, there's the dragon which comes from, um, let me think, fly from here. It's, it's another piece of uh, art from Roger Dean, and then this bit here is like this spiral staircase thing, which I just thought looked really cool. So I got them combined all together and shoved onto one half sleeve. And you have some ink on your legs. I see a fun one down here. Yeah, well, the it? problem is with this one. So um, basically, this one, <laughs> this one got infected straight away because uh, I had it done in Melbourne when we were on tour, and um, I think I was wearing skinny jeans, like skinny pants. That was the problem. You were wearing skinny jeans. Yeah, maybe. So uh, I don't know what happened to it, but basically, it went red and disgusting. So now parts of it have like started to fall off. But um, anyway, the thing, uh, it's actually like a, a video game character that appears in every Final Fantasy game. It's called a Cactua, but I just thought it's, you know, like a fun tattoo. I never get my legs out, so it's kind of like acceptable to have a dumb tattoo down there, so yeah. So do you have any that we can't see right now? Cause no, you got your shirts? Okay, so you're not going to strip because because Mistress Mel behind the camera yeah. can uh, get excited when bands, you know, <laughs> have tattoos below oh, the belt. All in the name of Ang, she says. Well, luckily, there's nothing but white it's flesh under there anyway. So. <laughs> yeah. Just white flesh. Okay, yeah. well. Um, your artist has been ta same uh, tattoo artist for both sleeves? Different tattoo artist, but the same artist who did the original piece. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Do you want to shout out those tattoo artists? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, actually, first of all, I'll do, I'll do Miles from... Uh, uh, the, thing, the thing is, I didn't know the name of the studio, but um, Miles in Melbourne. Ah, I can't think of the name. He's the guy who did this this on my leg, and it's not his fault it got infected, it's mine. <laughs> and um, and then I have, uh, let me think, uh, Adam Jeffs did my left one here. Uh, he used to work for Abingdon Inc. And then... What city are they? Uh, that was Oxford. And then this is Oxford as well. And this is Levente Bartos, who's a Hungarian dude. I, I hope. I think he is. <laughs> yeah. uh, also from Oxford in a similar studio. Excellent. Thank you guys very much. Come here, Herman. You're not totally done yet. Thank you very much. We look forward to tonight's show. Yeah. And we'll see these guys again at Chicago Open Air cool. in a couple days. Cool. But it's great seeing you in Dallas. Thanks a lot, Thank guys. You. Appreciate it. Get the new album. Reaching into infinity. Right now. We're out.